everyone, my name is Giovanna Proença and today we're going to talk about coding bad string one for Python. So if you want to get my, my solution to this coding bad and also an ebook on how to become a developer as fast as possible, click on the description below. Okay? So now let's see our problem. So we're going to solve our problems of coding bad in the CS58 to use the debugger, okay? But then we're going to check the answers in the coding bed to check if we are we're running all the tests. OK, so let's see the first problem. Given a string name like Bob, for example, return a greeting of the form. Hello, Bob. OK, so the idea is what we're going to receive a name as input to our function. And we have to have an output and string saying hello and this name with an exclamation mark. OK. So since we're going to have a string as an output, we can initialize this string, but we're not going to initialize this string, this string just as empty. We're going to initialize with the word hello, that is the first word that we're going to use in the function, because here we can see we're greeting the, of the form hello Bob, okay? So we're creating the, word, the variable called hello, and in the second line, what we're going to do, we're going to update the value of the word hello with hello plus the name and the exclamation mark. So here we're going to do what? Word plus name plus this. So when we use this plus here, this plus operator, we are adding uh, things on our string, okay? And then we're going to do return word and let's do a print to check if our function is working all right, okay? So this print part here, it's just for debug purposes, okay? So you don't need to use this. And let's check. So in here, we are passing Bob as name to our string. And we're going to see here that name has value Bob, okay? Then in line 9, we are creating what? We are creating a variable called world, and this variable is going to store the value of hello. So we have here hello, okay? In the line 10, what we're going to do? We're going to grab the word, the string hello that we created, and we're going to add the name and the exclamation mark to have this output here, okay? So what we're going to do? We're going to have here hello Bob, and then we're going to return hello bob so but you say uh, you know you notice my sad reaction here because what because here it's all one side by side right it's all hello bob like in like they are all one big world but we don't need it we don't want this we want to have this space so what are we going to do we want to put here an empty space okay and then when we do the debug 50 again we're gonna check what i don't know if i saved so when we run debug 50 again let's check if you're gonna see that this space that we put inside the the this string it's going to give this space that we need when we use here so now when we see the return we have the hello bob okay it's a trick that we use because here we want to add things in one string but since we want to add and having this space between the words we put a space inside the string okay so let's check our coding bed so ctrl c ctrl v let me make this right always when i pass this so all correct great job for us let's go to the next one so here we have what given two strings a and b return the result of putting them together in the order a b b a so for a string a equals high and a string b equals by it has to return high by by high so a b b a the order of the strings so string a then string b then string b and then string a again so that's what we're going to do so let me define here make a b b a i forgot to pass the we already have this definition okay when we enter on the coding bed 
So we know that we have these two strings as input and now we're going to manipulate this. <laughs> so since we want to return a, B, B, A, we just have to do this. We just have to return and use the plus operator that I explained in the previous problem. When we want to put all the strings together, we use this add here, okay? This add operation here, you use this plus sign. And since here it's all together, we don't need to give a separation like in the previous problem. Like we don't need to do this. So we don't need to put a space between the words. Then we can just use the A plus B plus B plus A. Okay. So I'm going to make here a problem. Python problem 2.py. And I forgot I have to put here an example. So print make a b b a high and the other string is by so what are we going to receive we're going to receive high by by high why because here we're grabbing the string a that it's high we're adding the string a the string b that it's by then we're adding again the string b that's another by and then the string a that it's this high here okay it's pretty straightforward, it's just for us learning how to manipulate strings, but it's easy and it's all correct, okay? Let's go to the next one. So the web is built with HTML, okay, strings, like this notation here that it's curly brackets, I, closing curly brackets, yay, open curly brackets, curly brackets, uh, forward slash i, close curly brackets, okay? Which draws yai as italic text. In this example, the i tag makes this and this, which surrounded the word yay. Given the tag and word strings, create the HTML string with tags around the word, okay? So I'm just gonna define first, and then we're going to make things easier. So it's a pretty nice start to understand HTML. You're going to see in the doing the course, you're going to understand better while you, you're learning programming, you can understand better HTML, okay? And basically what HTML does, you're gonna make tags. And how do we make tags? So we are going to see here, the first input of the function, it's the tag. So for example, I, okay and then the second input it's the word and what we're going to do the output that we have to do it's this so this word for slash tag this it's the model that we have to follow so for example uh open curly brackets the tag close curly brackets the word open curly brackets for slash tag close curly brackets okay so if you check one, I'm going to show you one HTML that I have here, that I've done before. So for example, index.html that I have. These are tags, can you see, that are in purple. These are tags that the HTML, it's like something that HTML understands. So for example, they have the tag body, tag li, tag title, tag head, and that's what we're going to do in our problem here, okay? just on purpose to understand the idea so we have to follow this model here okay i'm going to put in here so we have to follow this model tag the tag is an input and word in the middle and then tag again and between the tags we have to put the the curly brackets and in here the curly brackets for slash and closing curly brackets okay so that's what we're going to do. So for the first word, we're going to create a variable called word1, okay? That it's going to start this first part here, the first tag. So what's the model? We have to create first here the open curly brackets. So we're going to put here open curly brackets. Then we're going to add what? We're going to add the tag, okay? It's this i here, for example. So here we're going to add tag. And then we have to add what? The closing curly brackets here, okay? So this is our 
word one, for example. I'm going to put in here. What is our word two? It's going to be the word, okay? And word three is going to be the other tag that we have. Okay, so this is the model that we're going to do here in here. In order to get what? In order to get this tag word forward slash tag. Because if you check this thing here, it's equals to what? To this, right? The curly brackets and the tag inside the word and the curly brackets with the forward slash. Okay, that's the output that we want to have. So word two, it's going to be what? We already put here, right? It's just the word. So we're going to start on word two, the word that we're giving as input. And in word three, what we're going, what's going to be? It's going to be what? The open curly brackets, the forward slash, the tag, and the closing curly brackets. So this is what we're going to do. This way, plus tag, plus closing curly brackets, okay? And after all of this, we want to return the, the output, right? So the final word, it's going to be what? It's going to be word one plus word two plus word three, right? So the final word is going to be this, okay? That's what we are creating in here. And then we're going to return the final world. Let me put here an example. So print. Let's print this example here. Save it. Put a breakpoint in this line. And let's do debug 50 problem 3. I know it seems confusing, but I think you got the idea. We just have to make this become an output as like this model here okay so we're receiving as tag the letter i and the word is yay right so this is the two inputs that we are receiving in the line 17 we're going to create the variable word one that is going to store what it's going to store the curly brackets the tag and our tag is i and the closing curly brackets right so we have here word one, it's this. It's this part here, right? The opening part of the example. Then on this line, we're creating the word two, that it's just the word, okay? It's this part here, or this part here, or this part here, okay? So word two, it's going to be yay. And here we're going, we're creating the last part of our tag, that it's the, oh, the curly brackets, forward slash tag curly brackets that it's this part here or this part here, for example. So we're going to have this open curly brackets, forward slash I closing curly brackets, okay? In here, we are adding everything together, right? So we're going to, to have what we saw in the previous problem, all the words side by side, and then we're going to return. So our final word, it's what? It's the tag, the word, and the tag, like in HTML. And that's the result that we want, okay? So let's check on coding bat here and all correct. Perfect. Let's go to the next one. So in here we have what? We have make out world given an out string length for such as curly brackets, curly brackets, curly brackets, curly brackets, and a world, return a new string where the word is in the middle of the out string. So, you understand the idea? We're going to receive two strings, and we're going to put the second string in the middle of the first string, okay? Like in here, we're putting in the middle the word yay, okay? So that's what we're going to do. So, def make out world and here we're receiving out and word okay and what are we going to do so the first thing that we have to think is that we want to grab the the middle 
of the length of the out because we want to write the word in the middle of the string that it's called out so here we're gonna cre first create the variable size that it's going to return us the middle of this string okay and this dub we use this double forward slash when we want to do a division we just use one forward slash right but this it's a division that it can give us a decimal number, for example. For example, if we divide 3, if we do 3 divided by 2, what it's going to return for us? For us, 1.5, right? But if we do 3 with 2 forward slash as division, we're going to return just 1, because this 2 division here just returns us an integer number, not a decimal, okay? So that's the difference that we're going to use. We want to use in here an integer number. That's why we're going to do here division with two forward slashes. Then we're going to create uh, another string that is going to be called result. And in this string, we're going to put what? We're going to put, we're going to use the string slice. We already saw this in other videos, okay? So we have the string slice here and we're going to see what this does. So you can return a range of characters by using the slice syntax. Specify the start index and the end index separated by a column to return a part of the string. So when we want to return a part of the string, we can use this. So for example, if we want to slice from the start, we by leaving out the start index, the range will start at the first character. So for example, get characters from the start to position 5. So what do we grab here? When we use this notation, we're grabbing since the beginning up to the position 5. But position 5 is not inclusive, that's why we don't have the comma in here. And we grab the charts in the position 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay? That's the string slice. That's what, that's what we're going to do to grab the first... Um, the first part of our string, okay, because we want to put the word in the middle of the string, that's why we're going to use this. So we're going to use out, remember this notation, we're grabbing since the beginning, okay, it's this notation here, up to the letter, the position that we want to grab, okay. Then we're gonna add the word, because we want to do this, okay, yay. And then we're gonna put the rest of the of the string inside. Oops. We wanna put the rest of the string inside. And how we grab the this slice to the end? We're using here by leaving out the end index, the range will go to the end. So get characters from position two up to the end. So for example, here if you wanna grab just the rest of the string without the two first characters we put here two and an empty place here and it's going to grab the rest of the string that's why we have here ll world okay and that's here what we're doing we're grabbing the beginning the word and we're grabbing the end okay and then we're going to return result right so let me put here print and let's use this example here. I'm going to put a breakpoint in size and bug 50, problem 4. Let's check the problem and see what do we have. So we have here the out. What it's out? Out it's this four curly brackets here, and the word is yay, right? So what we're going to receive in size? In size, we're grabbing the length of out, that it's four, and we are dividing in an integer division by two. So what we're going to grab? Number two, okay? So size equals two. In result, what we're going to grab? We're going to grab the, the letters in the position in here. In out, we're going to grab the letters in the position 0 and 1, so we're going to grab this first two here. Then we're going to add the word, yay, and then we're going to add 
the last two uh, the last two uh, elements in the pos in here of this string okay that's why in re return in the result we're going to have this curly brackets curly brackets yay curly brackets curly brackets okay that's the idea or we can simplify all this doing what we have you here given an array out string length four we already know that the length is four so we can just do what we can do this in a different way and i'm going to show you how we can use here just the number two because we already know that the length will be four okay so i'm going to create here uh, a first part just to make things clear i think some people can can have understand what i said but others i don't think i will i made myself so clear to everyone that's why i'm going to do this again okay i'm going to explain a different way first part i'm here i'm just creating a variable to appear in the in the debugger what's happening so let's do this again okay in a different way in a simple way to understand so again our out has string length four okay so we know that every input in the out can will have string length four since we want to grab the middle of the string we want to grab the position zero and one and then we want to grab the position two and four so we want to grab zero and one put the word and then two and three position two and three okay so the first part what are we doing we're grabbing the first two elements of the string so in here we're going to have what in the first part we're gonna grab the two uh, curly brackets the last part we're gonna grab the elements in the position two and three in the array so we're gonna grab what the last two elements of the string and in now in the result, we're going to add the first part, the word, and the last part. And then we're going to have the result that we want, okay? I think now I made myself clearer than I was before. So I hope this makes more sense for you, okay? Let's try this on coding bat. And go. So all correct. Perfect. Let's go to the next one. So given a string, return a new string made of three copies of the last two chars of the original string. The string length will be at least two. So in here, we don't know what's the length of the string. It can be any length. As we can see here, we have one with length five, another with length two, and, and every case will be different from the other. But the idea is what? We want to grab the last two chairs of the original string and we want to make three copies of this. So we have two parts of this problem. First, we have to grab the last two chars of the original string. And then after grabbing these last two chars, we're going to make these three copies. OK, so let's start from the beginning. Uh, here I'm defining the function and the string is our input. And what we're going to do, so first we're going to grab the last two char, okay? And how are we going to grab the last two chars? We're going to grab using this again, okay? The string is lies, but then just grabbing the last two chars. And how are we going to do this? Using the length. So for example, here we're going to do the, we're going to put here length of the string minus two and why why minus two because we want to grab the last two elements in here for example i'm going to write this down a string like hello what are the index zero one two three and four right these are the index let me write here index right this is the index and what's the length? What is the length of hello? It's one, two, three, four, five, right? It's five. If we want to grab the last two chairs of the string, we have to grab 
up to the position 3, 3 and 4, but length is 5, so if you want to grab up to the position 3 and the length is 5, what's the, the thing that we have to do here to grab 5? So 5 minus 2, it's equal to 3, that's why we use in here, okay? In order to get the position 3, we have to manipulate length to be equals as 3. That's why we do 5 minus 2 and then we have number 3 and then we're grabbing the position 3 here, okay? So this is a trick that we use when we are programming. So after grabbing the last two chars, what we're going to do? We're going to return this three times. So return 3 multiplied by last two chars. We can use this operator here because the computer understands that the compiler understands that you are not multiplying, you're not putting like 3 multiplied by h. It's not going to appear 3h. Three, three it's going to appear the word three times. This is the operator here, okay? So let's put here print. I'm going to put in here just a second. So now let's put what? Now let's use here the let's test, right? So we have here extra and control S. Let's put a breakpoint in line 10 and let's check what's happening. Problem 5. And wait a second. Let's see what's happening here. So invalid syntax. Why it's invalid syntax? Because we forgot to initialize the string, remember? When we're using the string slice, we have to put the string and then the, the, the square brackets. That was the problem. So let's do this again. Wait a second. So we're passing as input what? We're passing hello as input, right? And now what we're going to grab on last two chairs? We're gonna grab the last two chairs of the string. Remember what I said before of the value of hello. So last two chairs will be what? LO, right? And then in the return, we're going to return LO three times. And that's what we have here, okay? It's pretty straightforward. Let's check here. Go. And all correct. So let's see here, given a string of even length, return the first half, so the string woohoo yells woo. So this problem is what? We're receiving a string as input and the output will be a string that it's just the first half of the original string. So since we know that it's an even length, we know that uh, we're not the, the first half and the, the last half will be the same, okay, because it's even. So it's easier for us to do. So the first thing we're going to do, it's what? First, we're going to uh, initialize a variable called world, okay? And this variable is going to store the output string, okay? And then we are going to do what? We have to create a variable called size to get the number that represents the half of the string, okay? So what, how are we going to do this? We're going to grab the length of the str divided by 2. Why we're using this 2 forward slash? Because we want to receive an integer number, okay? If we use just one forward slash, we're going to receive, for example, uh, for example, 6 divided by 3. What the compiler will return? 3.0. But if we do 3 divided with double forward slash by 3, we're just going to receive 3. So the second case that I did here represents an integer, and in here it's not an integer, it represents a number that can be decimal, okay? And since the compiler wants an integer, we're going to use this double forward slash here. Then we're going to store in the word the string slice, right? And the, what's going to be the, the end index? It's going to be size, okay? It's going to determine the first half 
of the string that's why we're grabbing up to the start we're grabbing from the start up to the size okay and we're going to return world let me put here a print first half woohoo let's put a breakpoint here and debug problem 7 so we know that we're calling the function and we're passing as input the string woohoo so str will be stored as value woohoo here right then we're going to initialize the world that is going to be our output and in here we're grabbing the size so the size it's what the length is six divided by two we're gonna have three right and then in the string slice we're going to grab the letters in the position 0, 1, and 2, okay? And we have here wool, and it's going to return wool. That is our purpose, okay? So let's put this here and go. So all good, correct, okay? Let's go to the next one. So given a string, return a version without the first and last char. So hello yields a e l l. The string length will be at least two. So we have to do uh, what? We have to return a string that it's going to be uh, without the first and the last char. When we have a problem that we are reading that it's without first and last char, without something, without a return just a part. We already know that we have to use what? Slicing strings, right? So this is basically what we're going to do in this problem without and we're passing a string. And so what we're going to do since the output it's a string, we're going to start our problem initializing a, a string as empty. And this word string is going to be the output, okay? And then what we're going to store in the output? We're going to store what? A slice string that it's not grabbing the first and the last char. And how do we do this? So for example, here. If we want to grab, I'm going to change here to hello. If we want to grab the first string, what do we do? When we want to grab the first string up to some string we use we put here empty right and what does empty means empty means that we're grabbing from index zero so if we don't want to grab uh, the first char of the string we put here the number one okay so here if we see we're going to grab actually i'm going to run this again if we put here one up to the end we're gonna grab hello but without the h, okay? Because we're starting on the index one. And then, if we don't wanna grab the last char, what do we do? What position is the last char here? So we have position zero, one, two, three, and four. So, if we don't wanna grab the last position, what do we do? We use the length minus one. So length b minus one and we're going to see what we're going to return so we have here e l l that's the answer of our problem so we're going to do this in our cs50 id okay so we're going to do str one because we don't want to grab the first char and length of the str minus one because we don't want to grab the last char and then we have to return word okay I'm going to put here a print to check the problem. Save it, put a breakpoint on line 10 and debug 50 the problem 8.py. And what are we what do we have here? So in here we're passing as as input the array the string sorry hello okay then we're going to create a string called world and it's an empty string then in this empty string we're going to store this slicing string here okay that it's going to grab 
the words, the letters in the middle, and then we're going to return. Okay? If you don't want this line here, we don't need to create this, okay? We can or we can already just create a word equals this. We don't need to create uh, the other case I'm going to show you. If we want to do just this, problem 8.py, it's going to work the same way, okay? I'm just telling you to create first the, the variable word, just for you create a routine of always thinking on the on what you have to give on the output, okay? But this line here, it's not necessary if you don't want. Let me copy and paste here. Go. And all correct, okay? Let's go to the next one. Problem 9. So given two strings A and B, return a string of the form short long short with the shorter string on the outside and the longer string on the inside. The strings will not be the same length, but they may be empty. So what's the problem here? We want to grab two strings and first we have to check which string is the shorter and which string is the longest, right? After checking this, we're going to do this form here. We're going to print this form here, here, short, long, short. So let's start from the beginning, right? Uh, let's start, so string A and B. So let's start what? Let's start um, doing this condition to check which string is the shorter and which string is the, is the longest, okay? It's the longer. So here, if length of A is greater than length of B, so if length of A is greater than length of B, the long will be A, right? Because the length is greater than the than length B, and the short will be B. And the else case will be the opposite, right? So long will be B, and short will be A. Okay, so far so good. And then what are we going to do? We're going to uh do this form here okay so form equals to what short plus oops, short plus long plus short why because we want to output this right hi hello hi so we want to output the short string the long string and the short string that's why we're creating this variable here and then we're going to return form okay Let's do an example here. And put in here a breakpoint. I'm going to change the name to longer here because since long is a function in the CS50 ID, it might complain, okay? But I just changed the name. So let's do here debug 50 problem 9. And let's check what happens. So we're passing as input what? Two strings, A is equals hello and B is equals hi. So here we're going to check which one has the greatest length. So A has length five and B has length two. So five is greater than two. This condition here, it's satisfied. So we're going to set longer as as a so longer now it's hello and the shorter string now it's b that it's high okay so we set which one is which so which one is the longest and which one is the shorter okay and in the form in the form variable here what are we doing we're going to create the output string that it's this form that he explains short longer short so our form will be the short so high hello high and then we're going to return the form. Okay, hello, hi, hello, hi. So far, so good. If you're having any questions, let please let us know because we're here to help you, okay? Um, and go. So, all correct. Let's go to the next one. 
given two strings return their concatenation except omit the first char of each so the string will be at least length one so what are we doing we are concatenating here right we have the word hello and the word there so we're having we're going to return their concatenation but this concatenation doesn't have the first char of it so for example we, here we have hello and there here we have e l l o and here right so we take out the first char and we're going to grab the has the rest of the string and make them concatenated okay so how are we going to do this so non start we have a and b so as we saw before here it's saying to omit the first char of each so what's the tool that we use in strings to to take something out of the string to take a part of the string is the slicing string right so here we're going to create the a without first okay so a without first char it's what it's a remember we want to grab we don't want to grab the first position that's position zero so we're going to start our slicing string in position one and b without first it's the same we're going to grab the string slice but not taking the first char and then we're going to concatenate so a b it's going to be what a without first plus b without first oops i made this wrong and what we're going to return a b that it's the concatenation okay so print here let's try this example no start s let's put a breakpoint on line 10 debug 50 problem 10 let's check and let's see uh, so here we're passing to the function two uh, strings right hello and there so a equals hello and b equals there on this line what we're doing we're doing a string slice and we're going to grab all the string without the first char okay so we have e l l o and in b without first we're going to do the same but the string b and then the there became become here okay in this line here we're grabbing these two string slices and we are concatenating here and then we're having we're going to have what i did i think i miswrote right i miswrote here that's the problem so let's do this again let me break i misspelled when i was doing the problem so clear and let's do the debug 50 again it's always good for you to check that sometimes we we have some silly mistakes and it, you, we don't need to this to be desperate we can take a breath read what is written in the terminal and then solve the problem okay so as i was saying we have a and b like hello and here and in here we're going to do their contact concatenation so we're adding the string a without first char with b without first char okay and then we have the hello here that it's our return okay Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Let's check on coding bed. And it's running all correct. Now let's go to the last one that it's left two. So here, what do we have? Given a string, return a rotated left two version where the first two chars are moved to the end. The string length will be at least two. So what's happening here? we're going to grab the first two chars and we're going to move the these first two chars to the end of the string right so when we are thinking of manipulate the string this way what do we have to use the string slice right so first of all let me define here def 
left two and we have this string and then what we're going to do we have to create uh we're gonna create one variable that it's going to start the first two chars okay so first two we're going to start here using what using string slice right so since we want to grab the first two chars we're going to use here we're grabbing position zero and one okay remember that the position the end position is not included that's why we use here the number two to grab up to the position one then we're going to do what we're going to create a variable where we're going to start we're going to store the rest of the string okay so we're putting here the rest of the string so position two up to the end okay and then we're going to create our f world that it's going to do what we're going to do first the word and then we're going to move the first two chars to the end of the string that's what we're going to do first two and here return f word okay so let's print here print left two hello so let's check put a breakpoint debug 50 problem 11 So let's check what's happening. We're passing as input what? The string hello. So we can see here str equals hello. In the first two chairs, we're using the string slice to grab the elements in the position zero and one. So in the first two, we're going to have what? Hey, right? Because we're grabbing the elements in position zero and one. In word, what we're grabbing? We're grabbing the rest of the word without the two first chairs, right? That's why we're using here, we're grabbing position two up to the end. So in word, we're going to have LLO, the rest of the string. The F word, what we're going to restore? We're going to do the thing that he wants, the rotated left two. We're going to put first the word, the rest of the string, and then in the end, we're going to put the first two chairs, okay? So we're going to have here, LLO, hey. And then we're going to return our variable, okay? That's the problem here. So let's check. And go. Okay, perfect. So we finished this part of the coding bed. And if you have any doubts, please let us know, okay? Bye-bye.